Hi, this is Brett from VivaGoals.com. I'm going to give you a fairly comprehensive walkthrough of our five-step OKR implementation process. Now, this is based on a workshop that we've delivered about 3,000 times before from huge corporations like Nike and Boeing down to a gazillion hyper-growth small startups. The five steps are a bit like this. Step one is actually preparation. Let's harvest your existing documents. But the first on-site work is um, a workshop to capture your strategic priorities and objectives. And the output of that is going to be a strategy map. A strategy map, based on our work back at the Balanced Scorecard world, tries to capture the cause and effect relationship between your objectives. This is typically built by the executive committee, and it's converting your existing strategy into this prioritized strategic hypothesis. And then we should be able to set up your corporate level, the top level OKRs. And this, of course, is based on the numbers you've committed to in your budgets and your board presentations and so forth. This is literally a three or you know five hour session. We do have an AI overlay that takes that down to an hour or two. Step two is what we call the process or department cascade or connection drill down. And what we do is what we call an ontology. Ontology means organizing philosophy. In this case, what we do is we take your strategic objectives on the left, list your core processes across the top, and we're going to score the impact of each process on each objective. I'll give you an example. If we take a look at the maintenance area, this cross-functional team, this is not just the maintenance team, but basically uh, a cross-functional process aware team across the organization, what they're going to do is score the impact from one to five of maintenance process on achieving the objective of increased profitability. And in this case, they came up with an impact of three out of five. Five means it's critical. If this process stopped working. We could not achieve that objective. And, and blank means you know no impact at all. So this cell here is just three times five or 15, and so using conditional formatting, we make that a light gray. Maintenance has no impact on the objective of more passengers, so it's blank. They're critical, five out of five, for the objective of fewer planes. So this cell is the weighting of five times the impact of five, 25, conditional formatting makes it dark gray. They're also critical, five out of five, for low ticket price, but that objective is 15% so the weighting here becomes 75 strategy points. We make that black. So if I extend the mathematics, it becomes clear where the maintenance department has to have their highest focus on reduced turnaround time and then on ticket price and redesign. So these black boxes end up being what we call the critical performance nodes. That tells us where we need to build our objectives and key results for each process. In other words, the OKRs for air operations should focus on their contribution to on-time flights and reduce turnaround time. Whereas customer service, their OKRs need to talk about more passengers and redesign. Now, that helps us out with the OKR world. It does a bunch of other things. Like, obviously, inside the business, you want your best people. Where the black squares are, you want your best processes. Your initiatives and projects are going to be based on those black boxes as well but it also allows you to manage horizontally. So if I am running a more passengers project, I'm going to need people, no one from air ops. I need customer service, ground ops, no one from logistics or maintenance. Yes, someone from ticket sales, no one from training. So this ontology is useful, but for us, it allows us to move on to step two, three, which is building the OKRs. What's that look like? Well, again, your performance team is going to take those black boxes and fives and write down their three objectives. What are the key results? What would I see more of or less of? If I'm using a racy model, who's accountable and what those targets look like? In fact, if I think of this as a five-day process, this is Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, we play what I call show and tell. Each team presents their own objectives and we find out where there's a shared key result or a shared objective. And in Viva Goals, we can capture that. We can capture not as just a straight one-dimensional hierarchy like an organization chart, but actually the web of connections between objectives and departments, between key results and teams, et cetera. And so based on that, we can then begin putting it into um, Viva Goals. What we can also do is see if we want to harvest some of these key results and link them back up to the top level OKRs or strategy map. So 
think of this as Thursday, day four, step four. What we're going to begin doing is putting that into Viva Goals and begin leveraging the, the interface with the rest of the Microsoft world. So ultimately, we come up with things like this. This is a Power BI dashboard intended for the executive team. We also do summarizations of this at the board level. Think of that as how I run the executive meeting. What we also can do is just native Viva Goal stuff, like the chart view that allows us to drill down and through data. If I want to go into more detail, I can begin seeing that list view and how we're doing across sub-objectives and key results. And of course, finally, I can even drill into uh, the detail commentary and so on. And literally, because we're building this on your existing strategy using your existing data, we're operational by Thursday in that, that four-day metaphor. Again, there's AI overlays to each step, we can compress this down to as, as little as two days, uh, frequently with AI, three days. Then the final step is coaching, teaching you how to run better meetings using OKRs. Now, whether they're those ongoing performance meetings scheduled or ad hoc, the quarterly retrospectives and refreshes, or even the annual session. This is the tail of the dog. This ends up being much longer. Those first four steps, we get done in, in as few as four days. This ends up being Friday. But that coaching and support on how we use the tool could go on for weeks, months, quarters, in some cases, years as we develop the team and move them forward. So those are the five steps we can take you through. And as I said, it um, can be sized to do a pilot in one area, three areas across the organization. And also, we can compress the time by using more GPT and AI tools as we go through this. Thanks for your time.